All right, all right, all right. Back with the SoBet Scoop, our weekly betting show for SoBet. We are live from Las Vegas right now. <laughs> hey, shout out G2E, right? Shout out G2E. Shout out the boys for getting this set up, man. This yeah, setup shout is out sick. The boys. Shout out the boys. They I set up. Didn't even have them ready. They were just right on time, man. They knew exactly what was going on. We're late. All right, well, <laughs> live from Vegas. This is unreal. We've had a great week at G2E. Um, today we got Gutsy Picks Cash, a staple. McNasty, a staple. Alpha, a newcomer. And our boy, Boston's boy, Sammy Adams. Sammy, thanks for joining us today. Great to have you. We're going to get right into this. We got a uh, a packed slate this weekend. We got some sick college games. We got a dog shit game tomorrow night, but we're going to bet on it. Because we're in <laughs> Vegas. Commanders versus Bears. Dog shit, dog shit. Gutsy, we'll start with you. It's your favorite word. I'll let you say it. Who you got in this one? Who you taking? There's no other way to put it. This game's fucking dog shit. But this, there is a bet that is to be played here. And if you don't know what Ron Rivera have already said this week, literally just said, we suck. Because of Carson Wentz. <laughs> if you don't think that they didn't wake up Carson Wentz just a little bit, I promise you it did. And it's a perfect matchup for the commies because the only thing the Bears can do is run the damn ball, and they can't even do that right. They can't pass the ball. They're like the worst passing offense in the league. The commies can stop the run. So I think the mixture, the combination of Carson Wentz getting shit talked by his own head coach and the defenses that's going to be able to stop this Bears offense that can't pass the ball, they can only run it. I think it's going to end up being the perfect mixture to a commies victory. And we're going to see him come out and just dog walk the Bears like everybody should. I actually love that play. Yeah. I think I'm going to ride that too. Commies money line. To we the got bank. Right now I'm looking at 78% of the money on Chicago. Yeah. Vegas yeah. is going to come. Yeah, that's, 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 that's an auto fade. That's disgusting. Sammy, you want to chime in here? Who you got? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely following suit. Um, you know, both trash D, pretty trash offense. I mean, Carson Wentz is terrible, but at least he can throw the ball. Um, that's the that's like the only, you know, real weapon they have is because he can go deep, but he just has dog shit receivers. Um, <clears throat> and like you said, you know, like Gutsy said, the Bears literally can't throw the ball. So it's a very <laughs> one-dimensional team. Um I I had Justin Fields the first two weeks and absolutely me later on that one. He's just <laughs> terrible. Um, so I'm definitely riding with that and potentially like the potentially like the over just because the D is so trash. Um, just both dismal teams. So this is probably the worst matchup we'll have all year on TNF, but uh, definitely Commanders pick. No, for sure. It's one of those <laughs> games where it could end zero zero, but it could also end forty eight forty. And we just have no idea. And I got the I got the alternate command commanders join on. Oh, let's go. Oh, the Caucasians, wow. baby. Oh, wow. <laughs> let's go. Broke that out of the okay, closet. It Love it. <laughs> Alpha, you're over there nodding your head. What what do you think? Yeah, yeah, I, I like I liked everything Sammy said till the end. I don't think there's a prayer that this game sees any points. Carson Wentz is not that guy. What do you think he's gonna be motivated by his coach or is he gonna play even worse? So he's a guy I'm not trusting in any capacity. On the Bears side. Justin Fields has less completions than Cooper Cup has receptions this year. Let that sink in. That's ridiculous. <laughs> they can't move the ball through the air. So I'm taking the under 37 and a half. Primetime unders have been an absolute gold mine. Last week I gave you a primetime under. We crushed it. Giving it to you guys again. Under 37 and a half. One Love of my it. favorite plays this week. Love it. Nasty, you want to chime in here? You're looking at your phone. Yeah, yeah. Unorthodox <laughs> better over here. He's probably has two parlays going. No, 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 no. I, I, I'm, on, I, I'm listening to everybody, but this is what separates me from everybody at the same time. So... Uh, with uh, Carson Wentz, I cannot trust the guy at all. Zero. Uh, I do think it's a dog water fight with the Bears against the Commanders. And I'm going to stick with the Bears at home. I think it's a different environment, different feel when you have to go to Chicago. And uh, I I don't trust. I think this is the beginning of the end for the, the coaching, the, the quarterback, the whole Commanders. I think they fall apart. And I also like the over. I think this is going to be a... Uh, um, a sloppy game where everything kind of goes wrong. And I see a lot of just like maybe some, just a lot of stuff that goes wrong, like uh, punt blocks or something that's just out of control. <laughs> butt pumps. Yeah, whatever it is. I just I wouldn't know anything. Gonna, <laughs> butt I don't, safeties. Yeah, I don't think this is going to be a conventional <laughs> football game. I think it's going to be sloppy. I think both teams are desperate to like put up points, put up some action. And I think that causes for confusion. But give me the Bears and the over. Love it. All right, so uh, 
most people are on the commies. Nasty's on the Bears. Um, we're obviously going to bet this live from Vegas. We have to. But we have a packed, packed college slate on Saturday. Oh, yeah. Bama in Knoxville. We got Penn State at Woo! Michigan. USC at Utah. Some massive, massive games. Let's start, let's start with the, uh, the 12 o'clock game. Penn State at Michigan. We'll go around the horn again. Guts, what are you thinking? If you know me, you know how I feel about dog shit Sean Clifford, who is quite <laughs> literally one of the most dog shit quarterbacks in all of college football. Michigan minus six and a half. I found that number earlier today, and I absolutely love it. Wouldn't take it above seven. Obviously, you got to get that key number of seven or under. But when you look at Sean Clifford, I mean, the man is absolutely terrible. He's outside of the, of the, of course, is outside of the top 50 in passer efficiency because the guy literally can't pass the ball. Every single game is cute. You saw his QBR last week against Northwestern. The man is such a bad quarterback, and he's been the starter for basically 20 years for Penn State. I just cannot stand that team with Sean Clifford as the quarterback. I can, li- I just cannot stay. I, I don't even like Jim. I hate Michigan. I think Harbaugh, for, especially for what he did and how he just started flying around America in the private jet. I hate uh, that to so try to get an NFL job. I hate that. It was insane. And, and now, and I'm yep. talking to the Michigan fifth. I was at the Indiana game last week. Shout I'm, out Jet Trackers. Shout out Jet Trackers. No free shout outs. <laughs> but I'm telling you right now, we had at that <laughs> Indiana game. The only reason that Michigan even won that game was because of how bad Indiana's offensive line was. It's literally the worst offensive line. Fired the coach after the in the game. world. Literally, right? Boom. On the game field. ended. Boom. Fired him on the field. Literally. So Michigan's lucky to even be here. But then again, it's Sean Clifford. They'll probably somehow dog walk him because that Michigan defense is pretty legit. And JJ, as much as I don't like that guy either, having a pretty solid season. Michigan minus six and a half is my play in that game. All right. Respectable. Sammy, what about you? Yeah, I, I dig that. Um, I mean, somehow last week on a prayer, I turned the Mich- uh, the Indiana game off, and I was like, okay, they're definitely going to score like 16 and a half. Michigan showed up in the second half, which was a surprising win for me. Yeah. Um, haven't played great, like, offensive-producing teams, which I'm a little worried about, but Penn State's ground game is absolute fucking trash um and i don't think that gets going in the big house uh so i snagged michigan at six and a half i'd probably take them up to seven i think i think they're gonna beat the shit out of penn state all right two for two no parody alpha any parody here oh yeah oh yeah it's gonna be a two and one split here i'm all over penn state this weekend i think james franklin is finally gonna get the respect he deserves he has not showed up in big games in the big 10 so far but this is a different year for this penn state team there's a different feel about this penn state team and i think they're gonna compete in this game to the very end i'm not sure if they're gonna win but this game to me is not gonna be decided by more than seven points so i'm gonna be taking penn state on the plus seven every game they've played good defense you look at it versus northwestern they only gave up seven points for CMU, 14 points. Versus Auburn, 12 points. Versus Ohio, 10 points. So they're limiting the points of their opponents, which makes me think this game will end by less than a touchdown. Give me Penn State. Love it. Two and one. Nasty. Uh, alpha dog picks, man. I got to go with my boy on this one. Uh, uh, I, I like Penn State in this position. I think uh, Michigan, this is their first like true test. I, I, I really believe this in yeah. the big house. I think uh, definitely this, this game is going to be a little bit of a grind. I don't think any team runs away with it. So uh, give me Penn State with the points all day and also give me the under in this game. I think sure. the under is a great play. I just think I I well. trusting yeah. Sean Clifford to score any points is like the hardest thing for me. Right. Just because he's so – JJ, JJ's been solid. He's like top 10 in passer efficiency all year long. And I don't really like him that much, but the stats don't lie. And the defense has been decent. They're like one of the best tackling defenses in the country. One hundred percent. So honestly, yes. it's just for me, Sean Clifford is just so dog shit. But, and, but and let me add this. But he's had a decent year though. His passer fits. He's got nine touchdowns, two picks. And I mean, he's limiting picks. the turnovers. The he's getting were, in the end zone. The picks were in the bigger games though, too. So I do 100%. think that yeah, I mean, another big game. Like, this is where he's he's more prone to have big turnovers, I think, than big plays, especially in the big games. So we'll kind of see how it goes. It's appropriate. But I do think that – and, again, I haven't – I just – I hate Michigan. I really do. But I think that they're going to just <laughs> dog walk him this game because Sean Clifford is just – Yeah, I mean, like, like both haven't played great teams either. I mean, Penn State had – a couple of good wins against Purdue and Auburn, but since they've both gone downhill, um, you know, I, I think, I think this game being at the big house, it's probably going Michigan's way, but it could just be a toss up. Yeah. It's going to be tough. Yeah. I'm gonna yeah no, I, I definitely think Michigan we'll go, pulls it out. We'll go three and two here. I'm taking Michigan. I think they're going to run all over him. JJ, Ronnie Bell, Bo Corum. I think they're they gonna got re- your Jim Harbaugh finally like listened and stopped playing two quarterbacks. If you play two quarterbacks, you're going to be 
one hundred percent. You know what? Let me add. Let me you know add this really quick. Is that one of my favorite plays in this game? Is the under in the first half? Uh, just just because I see both teams trying to figure out. No one wants to make a mistake. Mm -hmm. r r you know, pretty early. And so I think this could so be a big conference yeah, game. Big, big conference game. game. And I think both of them will take their time and kind of like try to run the ball. And so until one of them gets out to a ten point lead, you won't see a lot of offensive action. I don't think yeah. so. I think a lot of this is going to be a grind. Yeah, hundred percent. Don't tell me with the first half bet. <laughs> All right, let's yeah, right. let's go out west now. We'll 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 save the big one for last. USC at Utah. Utah obviously lost to Florida. They've been rolling ever since. I personally, we're not gonna pull up the tape because we don't want Gutsy to cry on camera. <laughs> but uh, I I told everybody that USC would roll through the Pac-12. They would go undefeated. They would reach the playoff. Caleb, Caleb Williams would either be in the final of the Heisman or win the Heisman. We don't have to play the tape, but we, we can just trust that I said that in August. But Gutsy, now that now that we see all of these predictions that Cooper Domus made coming to fruition. <laughs> Cooper Domus, right? Cooper what are we? How are we feeling about this game? I'm, I'm sure that you know most people that know me, including you, could probably guess where I'm about to go with this. And that is the fact that Lincoln Riley and Caleb Williams gonna die on that are hill. number three and four on the gutsy <laughs> top five scumbag list. Three and four. Ever since that <laughs> Oklahoma State game last year. I can't stand those two guys. But the best part about this is why I love this matchup, the Udys, man. I've loved the Udys for the last five years, that freshman class they brought in years ago. Ever since then, the football program's completely turned around. It's looked very, very solid. And at the end of the day, that USC defense is not shown anything. They have not proven anything He's to be gonna trustful. going to die on that hill. I'm going to die on the hill that Lincoln Riley and Caleb Williams, again, two of the biggest scumbags in the country. If you're from Oklahoma, you agree with me especially. These two guys, three and four, scumbags. Give me the UDs. I want to take a minus three, though. Three and a half is a big deal to me. Haven't bet, haven't bet the game yet. We're going to see where the number kind of moves to. I want to take three, maybe we'll take three and a half, but right now I recommend trying to get it at three. All right. Die on the hill. We'll watch you. We'll we'll actually laugh while you die on the I'll hill. Get to the top Sammy, what about you? Great view up there. Um, I mean, Utah looked so bad last week. Uh, 100%. Despite the fact that I'm a Ducks fan, so Chip Kelly just knows how to coach his fucking balls <laughs> off in college football. Uh, um, they look bad. The Trojans didn't look great either. Um I think this is a bounce back spot for Utah. I mean, they don't have an incredible offense, but it's you know it's been solid it's though. Decent. Yeah. It's decent compared to the teams that USC's played, maybe with exception to like Oregon State. Um, but I agree. I think I'm gonna buy the hook down to three. Um, and I think Utes take this one. Mm -hmm. All right. Alpha. Unfortunately, no parody here, boys. I'm going to die on the hill with Gutsy there. I'm all over the oh. Udys in this one. They've looked good at home. They only have two losses hey. the year. Both are on the road. They are back home this week. They look like a completely different team. Give me Cam Rising and the boys. Minus three. Buying it up to minus 120. Love it. All right, Nasty. Well, listen, uh, this game is a toss-up. I mean, I think it comes down to whoever has uh, the most turnovers or the most mistakes. But... If you haven't ever been to Utah, a Utah game at night, that atmosphere is they're wild. Electric. Like it's a wild, yeah, wild electric atmosphere. And for USC to kind of come in there and try to like take these guys out after coming off a loss, I got to go with the Utes and I'll even lay the points. All right. Well, I'll be on the hill killing you all. <laughs> okay. I'll be killing you all on the hill. <laughs> Not right? us, buddy. I'll watch you do the dying. I'll Not be us, the buddy. Right. USC is going to blow them out. They've been doing it all season. Well, okay. Yeah, we'll see. You think know. you think you think Lincoln <laughs> Riley hasn't played in rowdy environments? I'm just the guy saying. came from Oklahoma. You telling me a Pac-12 crowd is bad? Lincoln Riley forgot he plays in the most embarrassing division in all of sports in the entire world. We're just gonna keep ignoring our <laughs> eyes. The Pac-12 is the worst. <laughs> keep ignoring our eyes. The Pac-12 Pac should be oh, just dismantled. Little Pac-12 gate. Get oh! oh. Hey, shout out Marcus Mariota! Yeah, shout out Marcus Mariota! Yeah, look how old that jersey was. Yeah, shout out Marcus. Wow, <laughs> that's great. Hey, and just for the record, uh, shout out to put what, it on the record. What's his name? Sammy Adams. This is the first time that I've seen Sammy, but yeah, shout out. Uh, I sent out. You know, I'm a little older, and me and the fiance shot out his his picture. Let's go to uh, to our 16 year old daughter and 18 year old daughters and. You're you're now trending in our hometown, and so well, you, got go. a, you got a new fan base over there, Sam. Got to get up to Detroit and have a show up there. Yeah, go. you got to you got to come and have a show in Michigan. You got you got to you got you're like you're going viral in our little uh, city. You're 
uh, the girls are saying Q and uh, hashtag this and hashtag that. <laughs> oh, he's blushing. He's there blushing. He Sammy. Hey, hey, Sammy, give, give a shout out to Marina and Kylie. Marina, Kylie, what is good? It's Sammy Adams. Brought the sweep this whole cycle. <laughs> <laughs> Just, like Just, like Just like their daddy. Just like their dad. All right, let's move on to the big one. We got Bama coming to Knoxville. I feel like everybody's had this game pegged for a while. Guts, I'll let I'll let you start here, and I I know who you're gonna take. The spread is seven and a half. Um, what are you thinking? I was mentioning if you were listening just a couple minutes ago, three and four on the hate list. Number one on the hate list, obviously. Hand and Hooker. Nick Satan, because that guy oh, is yeah. one of the worst human beings on planet Earth. Number two is home plate umpires. <laughs> Besides the fact, at the end of the day, you probably everyone's gonna make the argument that Nick Satan's gonna have the boys ready to play today. And I understand that argument. Obviously, last week, we, everyone and their mom thought that they were going to absolutely obliterate Texas A&M. Yeah. Listen, it comes down to Bryce Young. And I hate Bryce Young. I don't think Bryce Young's even that good. I don't either. But at the end of the day, we you, already... you like anyone? <laughs> right? Oh, I right. hate yeah. I do I off the front. Do right? The he hate list do is do deep. The hate list is deep. <laughs> I've been doing this forever. And when you do something terrible. There's also just abstract concepts on the hate list, too. Listen, we can get to later. And and, yeah. and we can have a whole sit-down conversation. I could describe every person that's on that list and how they got there and why they are there. That's a different story for a different day. But we know how this offense goes with Milrow. When he's at it, what do they do? They just run the shit out of the football. And Tennessee's biggest weakness is passing defense. And at the end of the day, this is a beautiful matchup for them if Milrow's at quarterback. Again, Nick Satan, scumbag liar. He's going to say Bryce <laughs> Young's going to play. And then Bryce Young doesn't play, just like last week when we all got fooled. Opposite. Scumbag liar. Give Opposite. me Tennessee plus seven and a half if Bryce Young is not playing, which we probably won't know because Nick Satan, scumbag liar. All right, you heard it here first. Nick Satan, Nick scumbag Satan. liar, scumbag liar. Sammy, scumbag liar. Let's hear it. my grave. Uh, so there's been a little blind movement on this one. It's like been teetering between seven, seven and a half. I think I think I locked in at seven, but I've seen nice. a bunch of people that absolutely stink hammering Tennessee money line and plus <laughs> seven. So I think I'm going the other way. I mean, the last time, if I'm not mistaken, Let's go. the last time, the last time Alabama or Tennessee beat Alabama. Nick Saban was doing Colombian Bam Bam in Miami coaching the Correct. Pack. Let's not, uh, and I'm a Dolphins correct. fan. That's where just the like, Just like from. the fraud <laughs> franchise down in Miami. Not <laughs> us. Not us, buddy. We're he could have took testing. Drew Brees. That's he could have took Drew Brees. He didn't take Drew Brees. Scumbag <laughs> franchise down in Miami. Then he bailed on us. Doesn't matter. Exactly. So, I mean, I don't know. Like, obviously, both these look solid. Um, definitely going to be a testing game. But without an update on Bryce, this is, this is a tough one oh, in damn. terms of knowing what to expect for the spread i think this one's actually going under um because both defenses look good uh but i'm in i'm gonna ride with my six my, minus six and a half and minus seven on Bama. love it love it love that. alpha guys this is this is the play of the week Here it we is 1000 percent an alabama play hey. look at the public betting percentages the, the line opened at minus seven there's six percent of the money on alabama and it moved to minus seven and a half the book is tempting you, begging you to put all your money on Tennessee. It's going the wrong way. I expect uh, Bryce Young to play, and I expect Bama to put it to him early. You know Satan is mad about last week. You know he wanted to stick it to Jimbo, and only winning by a couple points was not good enough for him. This is the game they're going to come out absolutely firing, and they're going to win by at least two touchdowns by That's 14. Bama. Play two week. touchdowns. That sound, that's sound logic. Two is touchdowns. That with, if, so, if Milrow two is touchdowns, starting. Two touchdowns, so quit asking. If, but if Milro <laughs> is asking, are you still taking the bets, both of you? Are you still taking – if you know Milro right now is starting? 100%. Wow. 100%. Sammy? I mean, that, that defense is going to be that, dialed that, up. That, dialed Sammy? Up. I, I, think, I, think, I think that actually works great for my under. Uh, there you go, Sammy. But, I can agree with that. But I <laughs> – I, I think Bryce Young pops out. Like, there's – I don't, I don't think – it's like well, – it's, like, it's, like, well, it's like full it, – it's like full waiver wire. Mine is like TNF and all that. It's like no one's letting us know until Saturday morning. And it's no, like, no, no. A, you know, They'll hour to hour. Know. No, Nick we Satan we literally know said Bryce Young was playing last week. Right. And then he just didn't yep. play because he's a scumbag player. But that's besides the point. Hey, Gunner doesn't he's gonna like play, He's, play he's taking the Vols. Gunner's part of the – well, see they the comments. Shout out the Gutsy Gang. I I feel like Shout those – I, I, I feel like those uh, 
I feel like whatever those hype guys are at Texas A&M, they deserve to lose by a hundred points. When they, sh- when they show the one dude on camera, that done nothing pisses yeah. me off more. That dude, he's just, on the list. He'll just be. He's st- on the list. Not yet. But he can make it. If they keep There's showing a, that shit, because he'll, he'll just stand there and he'll like look around like he doesn't know what to do and he'll just. <laughs> Come on, come on. Dude, text A&M. Hire me. I'm like the best hype man in the world. I would get that crowd absolutely bumping. Bumping. (laughs) All right, Nancy. Gutsy's like the 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 prom queen that never got picked, right? Like like if his, <laughs> like if his if his bed the runner up. Yeah, yeah, the runner, runner up. up every year. Like and, and he, you and he can't spent two hours everybody. on his makeup. His mom did it for <laughs> No, me. no, I'm like the champion. I like run the I like to run the competition essentially. That's and listen, for the I'm record, like Gutsy here. Yeah, for the for the record, there's only one nasty Domus, and I have a trademark on that, so we can't call him Gutsy Domus. Hey, though. we're gonna cut that. <laughs> <laughs> no, but listen, this is one of these plays, guys, where I, I've been doing this for 25 years, right? I tell everybody that all the time just so I could make sure everyone understands this shit. But these are one of these plays that where, just like in the Michigan game, that when Alabama hits the road, Nick Saban, Nick Saban doesn't do anything crazy the first half. He, does, he doesn't. He likes to grind games out, and then he likes to pull away at the end. I think this game is very... Anytime I tell people, listen, the first half is always for the dog because sometimes you get value with points. Like if the spread is seven, seven and a half or whatever, you're going to get Tennessee probably, what is it, four and a half at half? Uh, is it the first yeah. half? Yeah, I think it is. Yeah, four and a half. Okay, that's Either four or value half. being at home in front of their own crowd, both teams undefeated. Tennessee, trust me, they, they're not going to go away. This is... They're the ones that are like, hey, they're coming to our house. That's great value. Give me Tennessee plus four and a half first half. And also give me the under in this game first half. Just because yeah. I think this is a – they in the first half, teams like this, they feel each other out, right? No one wants to make a mistake. So give me that – give me the under even in the first quarter. What is it, nine and a half maybe? In the Stand first by. quarter, anyone know? I think, it, I think, it, I think it's Stand ten. ten or... Is it ten? If it's 10, uh, I would stay away from it. If it's minus nine and a half, just because I like to, I think the first half, I think, how about the first quarter? And, and we apologize. So anyone watching the show, we're literally out here in Vegas. We're drinking and we're doing crazy <laughs> shit. <laughs> Shout out to my girl who gave me a little, a coffee, a coffee filter to write my uh, information on this stuff. See this? So we are like shooting from the hip. Yeah, it's two and a half. What is two and a half? The first quarter. No, no, no. The op- uh, over under. Oh, uh, fuck. If it's minus nine and a half, I'll Fingers take the under. Fingers are moving. Fingers are moving. <laughs> Side note: We need the Phillies to score, and the unders looking. Good. What's the score? It, but I can't find it. But I'm gonna round <laughs> it out here. I'm on Bama. I'm on God, Bama. What's the score? Zero zero. Hit uh, started. You got damn right. Oh, let's yeah, go. yeah. We third inning. Pick third up these tickets after this. Mm-hmm. The Venetian. Oh yeah, we gotta go cash a lot of things. We gotta go. Pull shout up the Brinks truck. Hey. Shout out Brinks. Hey, shout out Brinks, and we gotta get more horse betting. And wait, listen. For the record, also, I've been on the record a lot, but since we've been out here in Vegas, I have gone fifteen and two with my tickets since Vegas, since landed on Monday. Posted all okay, in so, bet, so we're rocking them out. Guy's sweating. He's so hot. No, fire. <laughs> fire. Fire. All right, all right. We're gonna wrap things up here, but we're gonna go around the horn and do. What we've done for the past couple of weeks. The Heisman pick for the year. Gutsy, one pick. Keep it short. Keep it sweet. Keep it off your hate list. Send it. <clears throat> <clears throat> My Heisman pick. As of right now, and it's honestly pretty tough because there's like a lot, it's like, there's not like a Trevor Lawrence that's like absolutely dominating. Uh, and, Caleb Williams. And again, Keep going. He, minus 150 now. It's changed since last week when we did this, boys. He's 100%. minus 150 now. 100%. It's unfortunate. What's CJ Stroud at? CJ Stroud is. CJ Stroud is favorite at minus 150. In preseason, when I talked to my followers, I'm sure I got some followers in here that'll be like, oh, yeah, I remember that. I said CJ, CJ Stroud from the beginning was going to win the Heisman, and I'm standing by it just like I'm standing by my prediction that the Yankees will still win the World Series, which was my preseason prediction. Half-season wow. Prediction, pre- wow. Postseason you, prediction. I like this guy. Yankees are like the World it Series. It's not getting a little plug. I had, I had to snipe. I had, I had to. I mean, Yankees going to win the World Series. I had to. Shameless. I had to. All right, they Sammy. Are, 100% are. Oh, man. I... Uh, oh, man. I, I, I hate that I'm just going with everything. So Chucky. Yes, we better have a good fucking week. 
Uh, God damn, so right. shock. Me and I Sammy, think, we gotta let's go. I like uh, I, I like Stroud. I like I mean Caleb Williams is all right, but CJ Stroud's having a good year. Don't get uh, bullied in Williams. All right. Sammy. Don't get bullied in the Sammy right. Williams. Don't get bullied right. in what? Don't get bullied in the Caleb Williams pick. I'm telling you, Sammy. The guy's a fraud. The waste of money. So you're on Stroud too? Yes. Let's yes, go, sir. Sammy. All right. Noted. Alpha. There's a, I mean, besides Aaron Judge, you got to go CJ Stroud. Right now, at minus 140. There's no other options. You can take <laughs> Caleb Williams at plus 1,000. I mean, there's no other option. One or the other. Uh, I mean, this comes off of, you know, there's a lot of games to still be played. And if you look at Ohio State's uh, schedule here, I think that's set up for CJ just to. Ha- be dominant like just i mean he could light up the yeah. scoreboard and uh with the receivers and his defense putting them in scoring positions you got to go cj you know that whole i whole Ohio state team is different i yeah. think they're gonna win the natty yeah i, mean, I, they, I agree. when they brought in the okay state they got a shot. defensive coordinator it changed everything because their defense has always been dog shit forever so it's great they finally brought in yeah. a, a competent like defensive mind i'm on caleb williams I think there's just too many traps in Ohio State's schedule. If they lose a game, it's going to be Caleb Williams. They're going to run through the Pac-12. That doesn't necessarily. Mean. It's the classic Heisman. The Heisman <laughs> normally comes the, from the, the, the committee, Oklahoma. The committee high card off. They look at the Pac-12 as essentially like a like triple A league, a middle school. Yeah, Until Lincoln up. Riley went there. <laughs> no, they look, they're like they, because Lincoln Riley's a fraud. So they're just like Lincoln Riley's like, well, he's not a fraud, but all right. Actually, hate Lincoln. All right. They, they know he's on your list. They we'll know clip, he's on your hate exactly. list. Exactly. We'll clip this too. We'll 100%. play it at the ceremony. We'll get gutsy crying. And then when and then when we'll CJ Stroud tape. wins, me and Sammy will be up on the stage accepting our awards <laughs> for being the smartest minds at Sobat. <laughs> I guess I'll just go fuck Let's myself, go. huh? Wait, did Alpha take CJ? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sure sorry, Alpha. Yes, Let's go. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. We only cashed last week. Mean, last that's week on together. me, Alpha. All week we cashed these picks from last week, brother. All <laughs> that's week on me, from Alpha. The Sobet scoop, we cashed. But that's on me. I'll remember that. That's on me, Alpha. Oh, good. I'll be better. All I'll good. be better. All right, boys. We're I gonna mean, wrap. I mean, we're gonna he, wrap he, it up here. He did say the Yankees were a shoe in, so you gotta. Yeah, you know you are right about that. I will be in the building tomorrow if it doesn't rain out. Let's go, Yanks, baby. Let's go. Listen and wait for the record because I when no, I go on the put record, it on the record. Yeah, put this shit on the record. Put it on the record. Because when I Again. say shit like this, na- this is coming from Nasty Domus. The the Dodgers will win the World Series this year, no doubt. Wow. No, I mean they're set up. They they got they got batters and pitchers. Their bullpen, everything's lined up. Sounds like and a baseball still, team. And they're still hurt about that short <laughs> that short COVID World Series title that everyone said was fake, but. This is the year. Watch. Mark my words. I want to say one last thing. They're going to lose tonight. <laughs> All right. One gonna, more last thing. The last thing. They're going to lose tonight. They, no, no. They don't have a closer. They literally didn't bring Craig yep. Kimbrell. They're a bunch yep. of idiots. They think that they're smarter than everybody. Yep. You're not. You guys are a bunch of idiots. You guys just caused yourself a World yep. Series. Shout out the Yankees. Nasty <laughs> Domus, fraud, uh, Domus picker over wow. here. Wow. Uh, not fraud person. Wow. But not a Domus. Uh, Definitely not a Domus. Uh, uh, shot. <laughs> Shout out Domus gang. Domus, Domus gang. There we go. We have <laughs> Domus. All right. All right. All right. We got to wrap it up here. Sammy, thank you so much for coming on the show. Shout out, Sammy. Your picks are going to fucking kill it this weekend. I know it. Gutsy it. knows it. Everyone knows it. Shout out, Sammy. Buy tickets to his show. Listen to his music. And get the fuck on Sobet. If you're not on SoBet, what are you doing? It's $9.95 a month. We got yourself. the best sports betting content in the world. All right. Peace out, boys. Thanks for coming on. Uh.